How do you integrate your Wishloop call to action into your website? Watch this short video and discover how. Hi, it's Doug Prentice from the Marketing Generator. Welcome to another Wishloop video. Today we're going to look at how you put one of the drop downs or the Amplify projects onto your website. The one I'm going to use today is this one here which you will see is um, drops down page like that. Now, how do we do that? The first thing is we create our Amplify as we've shown in another video. Go to the campaign settings and when we get to campaign settings there will be quite a few choices and things to do. One, you can name it, I've called this one Wish Amplify example. Thick means it's live. You can put in a few words to describe it. This is the domain that it's located to and linked to. You can do that by assigning a domain name here. Your choice of platforms is mobile only, desktop or all, but we'll leave this as all. The display interval is for a visitor that's closed the conversion mat or didn't take action, show the conversion mat again after X days. So you can either have zero days or two days. It can be closable or persistent. Uh, persistent means the welcome mat always stays at the top of the page when people scroll down. On closable, the welcome mat is hidden or removed as soon as somebody clicks it off or scrolls down past it. The delay in it appearing, it can be immediate or you can set it back so it doesn't come down for two or three seconds. The choice is up to you. And the opening animation can be the slide down, fade in, or none whatsoever. I find the slide down particularly effective. Next, where to show the conversion mats? You can either show it on all pages, exclude some pages, or only on particular URLs. That then becomes totally up to you. It's your choice. If you want to exclude some pages, what you do is you click here and you enter in there the pages you don't want. Next is who should see the conversion map. You can show it to everyone, new visitors or returning visitors. It's up to your visitors coming from everywhere or if not only from certain domains or exclude traffic. There may be some sites you don't want traffic to see it from so you put the domain in there and tick this box. Once you've finished all these just save it and that's it done and you get this campaign successfully updated and this drop down will be in place as you want it. I hope you found this instructive. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Just leave a note below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with an answer. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful and uh, I hope I'll see you again soon. It's Doug Prentice from the Marketing Generator signing off again. Bye bye now. If you want to know more about Wishloop, just click the link below.